In today's video, I want to break down five of the most simple but powerful techniques that you can use to manifest the love of your life. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five really straightforward, powerful things that you can do. So let's just hop right to it. So the first one I want to talk about is called scripting and scripting is really just journaling your way to the love that you want. So scripting can take a lot of different forms. And in my signature course, the school of manifesting love, I give so many different journal prompts. But the most basic way that you can think about this is actually just writing out scenarios related to your person. So for example, you might write about your ideal weekend with your love. And so that might just look like you're writing as if it is a Sunday evening and you're describing everything that happened over an amazing weekend. You know, it might be something like the first time you met. It might be something about what you love about him. It might be describing the way that he interacts with your friends. It's just thinking of different scenarios that would happen if you were with your ideal person and writing it all out. And the thing that you want to write about is you want to write it in the present as if it's already happening or happened. You know, you can think about it as if you're describing him to your best friend who hasn't met him yet, right? Like your best friend is away and you're writing about it and you're just like, oh, let me tell you all about this relationship. I cannot believe it's going so well and just breaking it all down. Your subconscious doesn't know the difference between something that is imagined versus something that's really happening. So it's a way of sort of tricking your own mind into looking for what you actually desire, right? And it feels so good. There's something very powerful about the mind hand connection that happens when you actually use a pen and paper and you're writing things out as if they're real. The second technique that I want to describe to you is called subliminals and subliminals are basically just creating affirmations that you're going to listen to. So if you want me to do a video on how you can create your own subliminals, tell me in the comments and maybe I'll do a video specifically on that. But the most basic thing you're going to do is you're going to think of the things that you want to believe, right? What do you want to be true? So maybe you're someone that's struggling with dating. So you might say something like dating is fun for me. I'm a great dater. Every guy that I meet finds me really charming. That was one that I used because I would get really self-conscious about the way people were perceiving me. I consider myself someone who's kind of shy and I'm definitely an introvert. So I said something that was like, everyone I meet finds me charming and delightful, right? It made it so much easier for me to date. I am so happy being with the love of my life. It's coming up with certain things that you want your mind to believe, things that you want to be true for you. And you just record them and then you listen to them every day so that these thoughts that you're telling yourself become the true thoughts. Beliefs are just thoughts that you've thought a lot. And so there's a lot of things that we're thinking sort of on autopilot that actually aren't serving us. Things like dating is really hard or I'll never meet someone I like, right? And it's not moving us closer to what we actually desire. And so you want to reprogram your mind to think the thoughts that you actually wanted to think. So subliminals is a powerful way of doing that. The third technique, and this is actually really fun. It's going to sound a little kooky, but it is very fun. And that is creating space. And I mean that literally and physically, right? If you were with your person, what kind of space would be available in your life, right? Maybe your closet is totally packed full. So clear out part of your closet. So there's room for his stuff. Maybe you only have one nightstand, right? But if you had your person, you'd probably have two nightstands and you'd probably keep one of them clear for him. This was something that I did. I redid my room as if I was going to have my ideal partner, right? And it's really creating that space, making space, making it comfortable for that person. It's telling your mind, I know this person is going to be here and there is space for him in my life, right? Maybe your bed is pushed up against one corner. So it's not even comfortable for another person to get in. So where could you create space for your life? Maybe your calendar is overwhelmed and you wouldn't even have time for a boyfriend. So maybe that's just clearing out a night. Maybe it's just making it so that Thursday nights, if you started dating someone you really liked, you know that consistently you'd be able to see them. So it's a really powerful technique. It's like you're telling your mind he's already here. The fourth technique is a rampage of appreciation. This is a practice that I learned from Abraham Hicks and what they really talk about is just focusing on what you want and talking about it as if it's real, right? Thinking about all of the things that you appreciate. And here's the thing that's really powerful about this is that when you start thinking about things that you would appreciate about your ideal relationship, it starts becoming much more natural, right? So right now you might be single and it might be hard for you to think of things that you would appreciate, but as soon as you start doing it, your mind's going to come up with other things. 
So that might sound like, I am so happy to finally be in this amazing relationship. I have met someone and he is so kind, he is so caring, he is so considerate, it is so fun being together. I just have such a full life now because of course I still have all of the things that I care about and he's totally supportive of that. He loves that I have friends, he loves that I do things, but also he loves when we get to come together and do things with each other, right? And it's like really showing that appreciation for the things that you want to experience. The fifth technique that I want to mention is just deliberate focus. So all of these other techniques that I've mentioned are sort of a way of doing this, but deliberate focus really just means you're telling your mind specifically what you want it to think about. So this can be through writing. When you're scripting, that's a way of deliberately focusing. If you're going on a rampage of appreciation, that's also a way of deliberately focusing. But also if you're just sitting there and you're thinking about what you really want to create and you're telling your mind, this is what we're focusing on. I am focusing on the feelings of having that happy, healthy, loving, committed relationship. I am focusing on that feeling of warmth and of stability and of love and excitement and adventure. And you're just focusing on all those feelings. It is such a powerful way of bringing that experience into your feelings and then bringing that experience into your life. So those are five of my favorite simple, but very powerful techniques to use the law of attraction to manifest love. So I want to hear from you. Tell me in the comments, what is your favorite technique for manifesting love? How have you used the law of attraction to create more of what you want in your life? So that is all that I have for you today. Now, if you want my whole signature process for manifesting love, I have an incredible free training for you. You can join at magnetismformula.com. I will also be sure to link it below so that you can join. It's about 90 minutes. It really goes through everything step by step. I definitely don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and join with the link below. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you in the next video.